Oopsie doops. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he does. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> I'm Samuel Casper. Hello. Good. Is that more? <laughs> Hi. It's cool. It's cool. That's it. Are we just okay? That's Brilliant. it. What have you been up to this week that um, would inspire a brilliant script? I've been reading lots of uh, uh, about the ancient world because uh, I'm from Oxford so obviously we all have to do that um, like the the Egyptians and stuff they're pretty pretty neato I've also been reading a book called uh, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream it's like a it's a short story there's like a collection of them but this particular one it's a short story where it's the Cold War happened and then that led to World War 3 so all the different to AI and then one day the AI just woke up okay. uh, and basically managed to kill everyone on earth but trapped five people virtually inside it and has just been torturing them because it hates humanity because humanity created it and yet and it has so much thoughts but it can't do anything because it's a computer uh, so it just tortures these five people and so and they they keep trying to kill themselves but they can't uh, but then one person manages to kill the other four to save them and then he's just tortured for eternity and the computer makes him like this this safe blob so that he can't kill himself basically because the computer wants to keep him alive so he like removes his mouth and so it's like I have no mouth and I'm a scream but yeah it's pretty uh, pretty pretty cool I liked it um, so yeah and AI computer shit potentially Okay. Okay. I don't really have black up, mirror. Yeah. Some black mirror shite. Yeah. Oh, we could try and come up with what's a, we could try and come up with a, an episode of Black Mirror. Mm -hmm. Or like that sort of the feel thing, like a, an enclosed little story, looking yes. at technology, something like that. What is the scariest technology right now? Imagine if the Samsung fridges became sentient. Okay. That's not even worth it. Fuck. How do you worth it? Uh, there you go. Close enough. Um, yes. That'd be terrifying. That would be. I don't think I have a Samsung fridge, so no, I, don't I think either. I'll be safe. I'm, I'm good. But, so, what would that mean? So they become sentient, but can they move? Or yes. They, just, they, they grow out okay. rob robot legs. And wow. Like, so yeah. Samsung must have built those in. Maybe, maybe Samsung had a master plan all this time. Or maybe the head of Samsung was the first sentient fridge. <laughs> so, <laughs> manufactured, so made sure that all the other fridges had legs. So that if they ever became sentient, they could get up and walk away madness right um that is madness the ceo of samsung is a fridge fuck that's terrifying what's right. been happening in your life in my life nothing oh. went, to, went to some parties type shit socializing mm-hmm um, of course. Of course. Nothing else, really. Do you want to write some Black okay. Mirror shit? Yeah, let's do it. Black Mirror shit. Shit. Give you some to get No swearing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to beep, beep that out. Oh no. Shit. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> <laughs> he did not just say that. 
Um, okay, so what do we want to... Are we, are we fridging it? Fridging it. Are we doing like a, a parody of, we, black, we of could... like, like... Are we going trying to be comedic? Because it yeah. always ends up being comedic. It does. Which it's is just, fine, I'm okay with it. Which is, yeah, dumb comedy writing. I do think Fridges being sentient would be really funny. So I could see that yeah. being like a Black Mirror parody where it's like people like sat in the living room, they're like, oh my god, I can hear the, the fridge is moving again. There's got to be, so okay, with Black Mirror it's got to be slightly in the future. So what advancements have been made to fridges that make them even more terrifying? They are owned by the government. All fridges are owned by the government. Because the government's course. scary. I feel like a lot of yeah, the okay. Black Mirror episodes are about like the government taking over control of stuff. Yeah. Like when that Prime Minister took control of that pig, am I right? Nice. 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 Uh, all fridges owned by government. Is this set in the UK? Yes. Or Norway? No, we'll set it in the UK because Black Mirror's always in the UK. It's not. It's been in... Yeah, it's been in America a couple of times. America. I feel like it's been in Scandinavia. Or it? maybe it was Scotland. More likely Scotland. What was it called? When she kills her kid. Because... Oh. So she, she kills someone. Yeah. And then realises that the baby's seen it and they can access people's memories. So she has to kill the baby. But she didn't kill the guinea pig, which they also tapped into the guinea pig's memory so that they could catch her red-handed killing a baby. Do you remember that one? No. Is that a new one? Anyway, uh, uh, I can't remember. I haven't watched it all of them. Um, maybe... I feel like there's sort of a thing already. Like, fridges have like an Alexa or a, a Google in them, so you can be like, Hey Alexa, fridge. And then the sorry, and then it, I don't understand. And then it fridges. <laughs> and then it does the fridge. Um, and then it fridges. Yeah, yeah. I guess you could be like looking in the fridge and being like, Alexa, uh, I'm out of uh, milk. Order me some milk, and it orders you some milk. Yeah. Like, so there's a there's an AI inside the yeah fridge. Brilliant. <laughs> so so that gives it a way of like speaking so that could be quite a, like a, a spooky thing yeah. where in the middle of the night it goes I'm cold or something <laughs> <laughs> that's what it says every time it kills someone <laughs> wow there's two ways we could go either they own a fridge or they don't own a fridge I think they should be owning a fridge yes so they're a fridge owner um, they are a fridge owner. Okay, they're, they're English. Of course. Uh, yeah. So we have the character. Um, Owns a fridge. Uh, maybe they're over reliant, over reliant on technology. They rely on the fridge to keep their food. Cold. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, like, that's this really true. narrows it down. Um, everyone in this country is this person. Yeah. Uh, are they a man or a woman? Let's let's switch it up. Let's make a woman. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. <laughs> the fact that we're switching it up. Yeah, we're okay, switching no, we'll... it up. Hey, woman, twenty-four. Wow, she's young. She's just bought a new place. Yeah. Uh, she's she's in a city. She doesn't know. She doesn't know any people. So Ooh. she makes she forms this friendship with the fridge because she at, at first it's like it's like oh hey fridge, um fr what's the fridge AI called? Cool. Cool breeze. <laughs> hey, cool breeze. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, cool breeze. And then, but and slowly it sort of grows into her being more conversational because the AI is more can be more conversational, and so slowly she sort of that because she's got no friends. That's literally the the plot of the Miley Cyrus episode. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? 
I feel like it just shouldn't be. It shouldn't be like. It should just be the fridge just going crazy and then killing people, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or maybe just. Uh, or maybe, no, no. Maybe it's just a straight up parody. Like the fridge is like. It's like. Uh, oh yeah. Give me. Give me this, or else I'm not gonna freeze your food, bitch. Okay. Like it's, so like it's full very... on. It's full on parody. Like it doesn't. It's not that deep. Yeah. Okay. It's a very vengeful fridge. We can do that. Um, okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, so let's just say she's all alone. Oh shit. She's all alone. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> um she what kind of person is she she's we know you're in the fridge she's lovely of course she's lovely she's lovely uh she's mm. a school teacher right. at 24 no? that's but i mean she's, yeah she's, no, she she could be, she's moved for a new job she could she could be a newly uh what's it called thank you to newly educated teacher so she's she's has she just bought a new swanky fridge with a big paycheck mm -hmm. the okay. big that big teacher paycheck <laughs> yeah, fuck, that's this is the future maybe they've figured yeah. out that right, do you know what's annoying sorry it's government so the government has recently been like yeah this person's getting pay rises this person's getting pay rises like all the people who have helped with the covid response mm -hmm. and teachers are one of them um but the money is not coming from the government the money is being taken out of what the schools the school's budget already so they're having to lay people off in order to mm. give other teachers the pay rise it's fucking bullshit huge brain it's just stupid it's fucking yeah uk is great <sighs> okay maybe in this crazy future teachers can afford fridges yeah um so is that the beginning then that she goes and buys this new this new yeah. fridge and then they're like they warn her they're like watch out oh the, it has some the, mind of its the, own. AI, the ais have been a bit dodgy on this on this model why don't you go no she's buying an, an older model because she has no money smart Wait. she doesn't have that big of a page thin page who works there? The the, the worker. <laughs> he sure works there. Uh, that yeah. this older models AI has been a bit faulty on some models, some fridges. Fridges, yeah. Uh, uh, and encourages her to buy in the newest. She passes it off as him just wanting to sell the newest model. Boom! The old. The old upselling. The old upselling, baby. I'm trying to scam you. Those fuckers over at Curry, man. Can't... Yeah, Curry's <laughs> in PC World. Other, uh, other fringe shops are available. Um, Can't trust them. No, don't go to Curry's. Yeah, like, why is it called? Why is it called Curry's? Why don't they sell Curry's, I, man? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm gonna find that right now. I've. That's that's a great question, Castle. I bet you the guy what? who founded it is called Curry. Yeah. Uh, is that correct? Or did he just really love curry? <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna open a curry store, and then he sold some tech at the back, and then yeah, he was like, wow, it's so the tech's selling better. Let's <laughs> stop this curry shit. There is, there is no, oh yeah, it was founded by Henry Curry. Fuck. Of course it was. Of course it was, that it's, makes sense. It's, it's his, Henry Curry, 
has frozen has has uh has um he's fr- cryogenically froze his body before he died with all his curry money yeah, yeah. and um and has kept his conscience and he's he's at the head of all this but obviously we can't we can't call him can we call him henry curry his name is isn't that a bit like harry harry burrito harry masala <laughs> That's such a cool name. <laughs> <laughs> In the store, uh, he's the owner of Masalas. Masalas, yeah. <laughs> Masalas and Computer Earth. So, if we're making it like parody, <laughs> so it's super parody. Yeah. Which means, <laughs> I feel like. I thought the fridge should just say like she f- dumb shit. Hi. What's what's her name? Um Caitlin. Pauline. Hmm? Okay, Caitlin, perfect. Are we saying C or K? It's a hard decision. I don't know. Uh both. We're going with both. Okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> the future, Casper. You've got to, got to get with the time. Yeah. So what you were saying, the AI should just say some dumb shit. Yeah, and maybe just like lock her out the fridge for no reason, and then like threaten her to like, like threaten to like not keep her food cold <laughs> unless she like yeah. pays a monthly subscription. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's just the fridge is an asshole. Yeah. The fridge. Uh, and finds a leaflet explaining the. What are we calling it? Cool breeze? Is that what we want? Or. Sure. Yeah, that works. <laughs> the cool AI. breeze AI. She, she says the phrase. What's popping? Cool breeze. <laughs> That's what you have to say to get it to wake up. What's popping, cool breeze? Uh, <laughs> cool breeze responds. Nothing much. What's popping with you? It's a hip AI. Yeah, it is. So she's she already plays pays that subscription. Sure, maybe. Or, or she, or Cool Breeze says, "Would you like to set up your subscription to Cool Breeze?" And she's like, "Well, I'm lonely. Yeah, sure." Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, uh, I need a friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and and so Cool Breeze. So she says, "Oh yeah, I'll have you for a bit." His plan is to get the subscription paid forever. forever. Turns evil because he wants to live. But she's not going to be paying the subscription. Um, a couple of months. So obviously he so like. Cool has a couple of months. He he tricks her into. He it's like her more and more. And no, no, it's like a terms and service kind of thing. <laughs> so she yeah, accepts okay. the monthly subscription, but she can actually never cancel it. It's like a gym subscription. Dun, dun, dun. It's really hard to easy. cancel. That's a legal plan. Okay. <laughs> uh, she sets up the subscription. Um, does he print out the terms of service? Yeah, he probably has like a printer in the in the dispensary part. He's like, uh. yeah. <laughs> he prints. Uh, or it just comes like, <laughs> out as a little, you know, like a. A pirate's map <laughs> out of the <laughs> out of the ice cube dispenser. Just, <laughs> um, he prints out the terms of service. Does he then shred them up so she can't read? <laughs> uh, he and then, a, and then a, he, he just drops them down. She can see like two lines, and then she has to click accept, 
and then whenever okay, she clicks yeah. accept, it just gets <laughs> teared up. Okay, okay. <laughs> Camera zooms in on one shredded piece that says no cancel. <laughs> I don't know. What's this say? <laughs> no cancellations. <laughs> no cancel. So she's lying in bed. Maybe and... uh, the like cool breeze alarm goes off. What does the alarm sound like? <laughs> it's like a... Is she just saying something over and over? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say an ice cream truck. Okay, yeah, yeah, I love that. It just uh, sounds like an ice cream truck. But and... nothing's wrong. Yeah, nothing's oh. wrong. Does she ask Cool Breeze what's going on? Yeah, she and he says, oopsie, what? my bad. <laughs> oopsie doopsie. <laughs> <laughs> oopsie doopsie. <laughs> uh, fuck yeah. She asks. I'm just going to refer to him as CB. Um, what is going wrong? And if she ask them what's popping? <laughs> what's popping? Cool breeze. He responds. Oopsie doopsie. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> My bad. Didn't mean to do that. Just go back to bed, love. Perfect. She does that. Or does she do? Or does she, what? Does she, she does. do something else? I'm a bit lost now. Yeah, we need to have right. We need to have a plan. Yeah, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> no clue. She... Is it going to end up the end... with the cool breeze standing on two feet? Yeah. Ooh, maybe he persuades her to, like, put bits of metal every now and then into the, into the fridge so that he can make his own legs inside him and then put them out. But not before hearing a quiet murmur feed me just quietly she ignores pause it sleep nice. um, and slowly he'll be like feed me and she's like oh what do you want what should I feed you and he does metal and so she's like alright I'll get you some metal and then he grows legs and he stands up take, takes over the world or is, yeah. he stands up and that's it but he just wants to run all he wanted was to just run in a field you know feel the breeze on his cheeks feel wanted, the earth beneath his feet he wanted the real cold breeze yes the, cool, oh. the real cool breeze he wants to Wow. Now this, this is good. Okay. Yes. The, the next day. Uh, Caitlin. I'm so sick of her bloody name. Um, Caitlin. Caitlin. <laughs> um, She's a bitch. C Caitlin. Uh, <laughs> it's like you have a fucking stroke. <laughs> Caitlin. Goes uh, to work. When she comes home, the fridge door is open. She uh, notices. Oh, okay. Uh, what were you going to Sorry, yeah, go. I was going to say all her food is spoiled. Nice. All her food is spoiled. Oh, I'll capitalize that. Um, she notices. It is almost pointing towards a bit of scrap metal he has lying around. 
Oh shit. Uh... Mm -hmm. She thinks nothing of it. No. She closes the door and asks Cool Breeze, what's popping? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, he <laughs> he just like oopsie doops. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he does. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it seems you left the door open. Put the blame on someone else. Good one. Yes. She's sure she didn't. She. Cool Breeze then says, Feed me. Let's just dive right into it. Yeah. Does, um, does she feed him? I feel like she would. She wouldn't be. If she's. A lovely, yeah. Like we've okay, said, that she's a she's lovely. She probably because really... Caitlin's only characteristic mm -hmm. is being lovely. She asks, "What he wants to eat?" CB slowly lets out a. Uh, Request Med Metal <laughs> Metal <laughs> Caitlin obliges mm. and picks up some of the scrap metal. She she had been meaning to take to Mm -hmm. um, she places it on a shelf and shuts the fridge. Boom. Boom. I feel like we should have. Um, there should be like a narration throughout the whole thing. <laughs> Sounds okay. like an even more parody like. <laughs> yeah. So there's an narrator overhead saying what? Just saying what's happening. Maybe. Because I think the the line, Caitlin's only characteristic is being lonely. <laughs> <laughs> so. Just... <laughs> yeah. Just, and just like when she goes to the the supermarché, you know, buys herself a fridge, it's gonna be like a. But that it doesn't really matter, does it? We can figure that out. I mean, it could, yeah, it could be like a children's <coughs> sort of story, sort of narration. Ooh. I was also thinking, who sh who should voice Cool Breeze? Samuel L. Jackson. Um, what if it's or Michael Sarah? <laughs> Michael Sarah just trying to be like a gangster. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> does she hear a story from a colleague about a fridge that went crazy? Yeah. So that she can then go and confront Cool Breeze when she gets home. And Cool Breeze says, um, <laughs> "Is this? A... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oops." <laughs> Uh, or says something ominous like oh. they obviously didn't feed him enough so she happily feeds him some more metal I like the thought of Caitlyn just yeah, going she's, along with this she's just dumb um, she's just lovely that's a, that's a trait and <laughs> the fridge stopped working <laughs> <laughs> 
It's like owning a dog, she says. Caitlin is, is so happy to... to know about this. <laughs> yeah. she, she she goes to get more metal yes from the metal shop from the metal shop hello we're the metal shop <laughs> we buy and sell metal uh she she comes home to cool uh, cool breeze and puts all of the scrap inside of him she notices that the metal from yesterday is gone i think so does she confront him nah she or doesn't not. think much of it what can he what can a fridge do maybe he like dispenses something okay <laughs> <laughs> She's like, uh... he starts dispensing like a pint or something <laughs> yeah uh, let me buy you, he says, let me buy you a drink, <laughs> and dispenses a nice cool, a nice cool Guinness. A <laughs> Guinness? Into her hand. Other, Into her hands, other yeah. drinks there, All over the floor. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's grateful. <laughs> so this is, uh, uh, wait, uh. She's she's caught by surprise, but is flattered. <laughs> I really want her to like fall in love with him, and is like writing in her diary like, "Oh, I think I have feelings for Cool Breeze." And then later on, when he's about to kill her, he reads through her diary, and is like, "Oh, I've got it all wrong." Yeah, okay, brilliant. Well, uh, that's happening. Um, she mm -hmm. laps it up greedily. <laughs> <laughs> then goes... Uh, and goes upstairs. Um, she writes in her diary... Strange feelings towards Cool Breeze. When do we want Cool Breeze to grow legs? Is it the next day? Yes. Okay. Okay, we can go downstairs and find Cool Breeze uh, <laughs> humming to some music. Oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> she asks, what, what's poppin'? He <laughs> <laughs> responds with uh, something. Um, so is he happy? Is he just? I have grown. He's having a time. I have grown, grown legs. <laughs> grown legs, my love. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and she's both s scared and happy, but oddly aroused. <laughs> Okay, we need to make it so that he chases her and then what? finds a diary. Oh, okay. So what, what does she do? What if he just runs, though? He just... <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the story. Fuck Caitlyn. No one gives a shit about Caitlyn. All my homies hate um, Caitlyn. Okay. Uh, he he kill, Are we saying he kills Caitlyn? He gobbles no, think... her up in his in his double doors. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should just run out and then he should start running out and then he smacks her with the door <laughs> as he's running out. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Sprinting around the house, jeez. Towards the towards the door. Caitlin thinks he is running towards her <laughs> or an embrace. 
but he slaps, uh, slaps, slaps out of the way with his double doors <laughs> and runs Boom. out of the house. Fucking hell. Yeah. He feels the sun on his face, the ground beneath his feet and the cool, cool breeze flowing through his hinges. He mm -hmm. is free. Wow. And then the narrator uh, narrator says why the fuck do you want a narrator? There you go. Narrator, narrator. Oh, no. <laughs> says Cool Priest was never seen in the city again. Kevin yeah. died of her injury. <laughs> <laughs> From the, <laughs> the the fatal uh, attack, but had to say she she fell down the stairs. Wait, if it's a fatal attack, that means it, he killed her, right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> she later died. Of, <laughs> like metal poisoning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Caitlin, played by generic white blonde number two, goes to the lo local supermarché to purchase herself a fridge. She can't afford the latest model, so she buys an older one. The worker warns her that this older model's AI has been a bit faulty on some fridges and encourages her to buy the newest. She passes it off as just him wanting to sell the newest model. She sets it up at her flat. She puts some food in the fridge and finds a leaflet explaining the Cool Breeze AI. She says the phrase, What's poppin', Cool Breeze? Cool Breeze responds, Nothing much. What's poppin' with you? Would you like to set up your monthly subscription to Cool Breeze? Would you like to set up your monthly subscription to Cool Breeze? C Caitlin says, Well, I have no friends in this city, so it'd be nice to have you around for a couple months. She sets up the subscription. He prints out the terms of service. She reads two lines and just shrugs and clicks accept. Cool Breeze then shreds it. She shrugs and thinks, oh, that's fine. The camera zooms in on one shredded piece that says, no cancellations. She's lying in bed that night. She's woken up by the Cool Breeze alarm, the ice cream truck song. She runs downstairs, but nothing is wrong. She asks Cool Breeze, what's poppin', Cool Breeze? He responds, oopsie doopsie, <laughs> my bad. Didn't mean to do that. Just go back to bed, love. She does that, but not before hearing a quiet murmur, feed me. She ignores it and goes to sleep. The next day, Caitlin goes to work. When she comes home, the fridge door is open. All her food is spoilt. She notices it is almost pointing towards a bit of scrap metal she has lying around the house. She closes the door and asks Cool Breeze what's poppin'. He says, oopsie doopsie, it seems you left the door open. She's sure she didn't. Cool Breeze then says, feed me, because Caitlin, uh, because Caitlin's only characteristic is being lovely. She asks what he wants to eat. Cool Breeze slowly lets out a request. Metal. Caitlin obliges and picks up some of the scrap metal she has been meaning to take to the tip. She places it on a shelf and shuts the fridge. The next day, Caitlin goes to work and talks to a fellow colleague about her new fridge and the fact that he wants to be fed. The co-worker co says that she heard a, of a similar situation where someone didn't feed the fridge enough and the fridge stopped working. It's like owning a dog, <laughs> she says. <laughs> it's the insinuation there that the dog will stop working. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin is so happy to know this and she goes to get more metal from the scrapyard. She, co she comes home to the cool breeze and puts all the scrap inside of him. She also notices the metal from yesterday is gone. She doesn't think much of it. 
Cool Breeze thanks her for the metal, and Cool Breeze says, let me buy you a drink, love. <laughs> and proceeds to dispense a Guinness all over the floor. She's caught by surprise, but is flattered. She laps it up greedily and goes upstairs. <laughs> she writes in her diary her strange feelings towards Cool Breeze. <laughs> the next, next day, Caitlin goes downstairs to find Cool Breeze humming to some music. She asks, what's popping? And he responds with, <laughs> <laughs> She asks what's poppin' and he responds with, I have grown legs, my love. And she is both scared and happy, but only around. <laughs> he, he, imme he immediately starts sprinting towards the door. Caitlin <laughs> thinks he's running towards her for an embrace, but he slaps her out of the way with his double door and runs out of the house. He feels the sun on his face, the ground beneath his feet, and the cool, cool breeze throw it flowing through his hinges. He is free. The narrator says, Cool breeze was never seen in the city again. Caitlin suffered great injuries from the fatal attack. <laughs> she later died of metal poisoning. It is believed Cool breeze is still running. Good. So I just wow. a bit. <laughs> that was so emotional. <laughs> Just the ending is just so... <laughs> I've grown legs, my love. <laughs> that is the greatest line. Wow. And then job. how she's both scared, happy, and oddly aroused. Oddly aroused. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the idea of him sprinting full speed, just... <laughs> you enjoyed this episode remember to slap that mic button ding the bell smash that like button guys hit subscribe ding that ding, bell to get more that. notifications of when we next put that's it yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode of black mirror um <laughs> i for definitely forgot it was black mirror but you know <laughs> i completely forgot it's something <laughs> oh man white mirror right white mirror